So due to the warpage, the handle has fallen off for the second time. So I need to move ahead with the aluminum straps to hopefully try and flatten out the shield. of holes at each end of the aluminum straps and we'll get these screwed down to the back of the shield and hopefully it'll keep it flat. As I mentioned earlier I was not satisfied with the appearance of the grooves in the face of the shield so I'm using this uh, 3 8 inch radius round over bit in the router and we're going to uh, widen those grooves uh, in the front and make them a little bit more pronounced. This is the first of two coats of stain that I'm going to put on the front of the shield. I'm using brake cleaner to clean the oil residue off of the shield boss. It came packaged in a plastic bag. It was covered with oil to prevent it from rusting. So a little bit of brake cleaner uh, cleaned that right up. The Shield Boss has a great polished uh, finish to it. Unfortunately, it's not what I was after uh, for this particular shield. Uh, but at the time I placed the order, uh, there were no other Shield Bosses available in the finish that I wanted. So we're hitting it up with uh, 80 grit sandpaper. Uh, we're gonna scuff up that surface and apply uh, a couple coats of paint. To finish off the handle, I wrapped it with ordinary baling twine, a uh, coat of glue on the handle, and then just uh, very tightly rolled the uh, twine around the handle, and then hit it with a candle to burn off the um, frayed uh, twine, as well as give it uh, some color. Unfortunately, during the wrapping process, the battery in the camera had conked out, so I am not able to show you that step. So I'm drilling holes to use for the mounting bolts for the handle. Uh, the handle did pop off a third time, so I abandoned using glue at all. Uh, but these bolts, these carriage bolts, will hold just fine. Carriage bolts will be uh, recessed into the handle uh, and hidden from view uh, altogether using some uh, plastic wood filler. I'm using black vinyl to upholster the uh, edge of the shield with. Picked it up at a local fabric store, 54 inch wide roll, got a three foot long piece, cut into four inch strips. Uh, two strips does the circumference. 
using ordinary carpet tacks to tack down the backside and I found some uh, wrought iron head nails to use on the face of the shield uh, for tacking down the edging. When I first started doing the edging, I really had no idea uh, how it would progress or exactly what I was going to do with it. I only knew that I wanted uh, both the front and the back tucked under, and I wanted it to be as symmetrical as possible. So a lot of extra time was spent measuring in between every nail to make sure I had one inch of overlap both on the front and on the back, uh, give or take a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch and I would also measure halfway up to make sure that each nail uh, was in the midpoint between the edging uh, of the shield and the hem of the uh, edging itself. So the whole secret to the edging really is just patience, taking time to tuck everything under, keep the material stretched out, measure in between each nail. It was time consuming, but in the end it was well worth it. So the trickiest part of the edging was where the two ends of the edging material meet. With overlapping material, you're going to have double the thickness and I wanted to minimize that to the extent that I could. So I started by trimming the end of one piece of material so that it left about an inch of overlap. The ends tuck under very nicely, but there was still a little bit too much bulk. So I knew I was going to have to trim off a little bit more of the material to get it to sit flush. So what I ended up doing was cutting out a rectangle at the end of the underlying piece so that all that was left was a tab uh, in the center that would fit underneath the overlapping layer.
And so after about two days of edging, uh, here's the finished product. I like the way it came out. It was tedious, it was time consuming, but uh, again, the project was meant to just pass some time. So uh, very happy with the results. And here is the finished product. So the project took about four weeks total to build, working uh, just in the evenings and uh, for a couple hours on the weekends. So I'm a little disappointed that I had to install these uh, 
aluminum supports to keep it from warping, but uh, it'll spend most of its time hanging on a wall probably. It also fits actually quite nicely on a guitar stand. So at uh, nine pounds, six ounces, I don't think anybody's gonna be using it in battle. I uh, would last about 10 minutes myself, I think, before I'd uh, drop the thing. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time. <laughs>